you're telling me these stories now that you're like uh, under, under three hours, you're doing everything from scripting, recording, yeah. editing, and bang, you're ready. So you've really got it down to a science. So what have you changed in your creative mindset so that you you get more flow like do you do you, you know i'm sure there's topics that you need to research and i'm more interested in those things where it's not so much an off the cuff or with just a few bullet points but things where you still need to gather and research some information to pull together how are you refining the process well i try to limit myself in the research phase uh it, this kind of goes the same thing anytime i'm messing around with tags within a video uh, I yeah, give myself yeah. five five minutes to find the tags. For SEO, okay. Yeah. I literally, and I'm like, at that five minutes, if I don't have all the tag slots filled, I say, that's okay, I'll come back to it. I would say when it comes to go, to ideas, go back to what has worked before inside your, you, you'll see in your dashboard, what, what videos oh, yeah. are viewed, what are the, the, the longest audience retention. Think to yourself, how can I... Um, how can I branch off of that? How can I go back to the well? It's kind of like my 90 day home workout plan. When Jason saw that, he said, you got to go back to the well with that. And yeah, so yeah. I did, and I created a whole bunch of other workout plans. And sure enough, there was a demand for it. And it really exploded something big. So it's just probably look at your successful ideas and think to yourself, hmm. Yeah. So if I'm hearing correctly, what you're telling me, this is really about diversity of content. So where I think I've been sort of very narrow focused you know, like I was doing a lot of Camtasia only videos and building that uh, that gr uh, group and playlist. And uh, now I've started to diversify by doing things like social video and Facebook video. And I'm going to do stuff for Instagram. And I I'm seeing that the, the, diversity, the diversity of the content is going to help me grow. And I find that when I'm getting some fresh areas to work on, I get, I get my creative inspiration back. That's refreshing. And I find, wow, I can actually produce you know, might do my research scripting and get ready to do something like that much, much faster. So I'm trying to get, you know, that diversity happening without, without um, feeling I'm at risk to alienate the audience because we need to grow carefully and be sure we're serving uh, all of them as best we can. And some content may be for them and some may not. Video creators use editors. They publish on YouTube. They publish on Facebook. You know, they, they go all over the place. So you must have dealt with this kind of thing when you started to go on your your parade of your challenge and, and you know, listing pages of topics to queue up for the future. So did you did you change your attitude about the scope of what you were, were focused on to, to grow? Yeah, and I continue to do that. So, um, uh, for instance, you know, I just, like I said, I discovered the tutorials just weren't drawing as well. Um, I found some of the darndest uh, things that are doing so, so freaking good, like Google Images and books. I, I never would have thought anybody would have been interested in that. Yeah. Um, I was able to do just a bit of research. I think I kind of capped myself at about five to ten minutes on just a simple Google search because I already kind of had a pretty good tenuous grasp on some of the, uh, the knowledge. So I just needed to kind of get the site, the resources, and so on and so forth. Um, but, you know, you, you just got to get down to, you know, what's going to move the needle. And you got to not be afraid to take a few chances. Yeah, I think that that's a very big point because I would have thought here, what is just focusing on images about? It's a very small, tiny part of maybe, you know, something to produce to find to put on a cover you're producing or in your book and yeah. i would think like you know can i really make a video out of that oh well why don't i show them about sources for that and you see so you made a whole video out of that and i look at that and even like here's an example where i go overboard in that concept that i said where i'm doing eight tips about library assets just one tip in there is about talking about all kinds of external third-party resources for assets and i'm going I could do that as a video by itself, yet I'm jamming yes. it in, you know, and then this is what you're showing me, right? So Yeah, and so uh, that's a great point. So let's say you start to expand too far on that one point. You can yeah. always just be very succinct and give like a summary and say, I'll cover yes. that in a future video. Then on, so I like that. This, this, the script is you just, as soon as you're done with the script, go right over, write that next one, or at least take that general outline that you had, put it over onto a document and say to yourself, I'm going to come back to that one later. And here's the nice thing. Let's say you just shelf it for now. Yeah. You your point is to document those ideas as soon as they're there, because they can just disappear as fast right. as they came. <laughs>